Welcome back to the big board. So I kind of left you hanging there, didn't I, with just a one tactical tip and uh, and uh, no resolution on what, what, what happened with the HQ, with the Czech HQ here and the two tanks. Well, we, we, we'll, let's, let's see what happens, okay? One, two, a move two. I'm now going to uh, potentially uh, shoot at this guy doing moving fire, but th these guys have up fire first, so they're gonna fire. They're gonna get four dice for five, uh, to five to hit. So we have to grab four blue dice because you know, they're blue guys, but half range, we're gonna drop, uh, drop a doohickey. So it's, uh, it's four fours now, not four fives. Oh, and he only gets two hits. So there's the dice there, two hits. So now we'll do the save. Uh, these guys are saving. He's firing at the top, the top unit. Uh, saving uh, on two fives, right? Oh, he makes one save. All right, so that's one hit on this guy. Boom. Oh, it's not. It's not a. Uh, what are we doing here? It's not a reduction. It's just a disruption. So he's disrupted. So he is now going to now not going to get to play in the party. And that, uh, that means that, you know, that HQ has actually got to make a roll as well. And we'll uh, do that in a sec. But see, now what's happened is this moving fire, this guy goes off complete. Uh, this moving fire has now been halved uh, or halved in its potential effectiveness because what I was going to do was uh, conduct a volley fire. And I would have got an extra die and it would have been at half range as well. So that would have been nice. All right, so we're gonna wrap this little tech tip up here and uh, show that showed you the benefit of waiting to take the right shot. And it also showed you the benefit of trying to uh, use moving fire to come in and, uh, and clean up the bad guys in improved positions. All right, we'll talk to you soon.